What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Woo! The back and forth continues. The back and forth continues. Old school driver, slow walk, steps up into the building. Yes, sir. Uh, he chops it up with the lockout men to talk about the ongoing feud between him and unfortunate TikToker Mar the Trucker. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Oh, Walker, back in the building. <laughs> Yes, sir. Got all excited talking to me. Touched yeah. the wrong button. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, my guy? Not much. Just driving on down the road. Well, being we, difficult. Well, we people. Well, we're gonna jump right into it, man. We 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 we're just gonna jump right into it because uh, this, <laughs> this this gentleman here. Hey, what's up, William Walker? <laughs> I really didn't want to make this video because I don't want to give you any publicity, but I just think it's funny because you keep bringing up my past, which is a completely different situation because as some of you guys don't know, I was lied to on an app for adults, and of course it's not a legal defense anywhere in the United States, which is why I was forced to accept the consequences and take a plea for a lesser charge. Um, I just think it's funny because some of my fans actually looked into your background as well. Is this not you on Instagram thanking a, how old is she? Oh, a 14 year old girl for liking your picture? Interesting. Oh, wait, wait, wait. My fault. She was 14 in 2018. Meaning in 2012, she was 8. Huh. Interesting. Also, what's up with your obsession for Asians? I mean, it's kind of strange. Not illegal, but it is kind of strange. Uh, and any grown man, or not grown man, a 60 year old man that was using Kick in 2012 was up to no good. See, I was 19, made one mistake, owned up to it, dealt with it. It is what it is. And all this, you were at least 50. Not a good look. Just saying. Okay. Okay, slow walker. This um well let's let's uh let's catch up to to how this TikTok back and forth begin. Alright. I was going through TikTok and this one character shows up on my for you page complaining that he drove into a ditch and blaming the construction crew for it it was the construction company's fault the road crew's fault that he drove into a ditch and ran over a barrel because nothing was blocked off there were barrels in front of the ditch on both sides of the ditch but the access road for the construction crew didn't have no cones on it he had to take the exit ramp right next to it. So it was his fault. It, it, it was the construction crew's fault that he drove off into the ditch. So th Man. this this the same video uh, that I touched on on the, uh, on the Breaking Truckers episode. Now, he claims, because he, st he stopped himself short of saying how did he end up on that SS road yeah. by saying... Right. My GPS told me that. Told Ex me to go there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And and being that it was and and being that it was night, he was doing nothing but following his GPS. But I, you know, I guess he doesn't know how to turn on his headlights. <laughs> right. So I mean, common sense. You know, as a professional driver, you know, I, look, listen. I'm not trying to get on you, brother man, but I'm just saying. Common sense as a professional driver would have kicked in and be like, hmm, maybe I should not turn there. Maybe I should pull over, assess the situation, and see which one of these ramps that I can actually turn on before I make that turn. Right? Yeah. I mean, the guy's a young driver, okay? And I'm not going to trash on the fact that he's a young driver. But I'm going to trash on the fact that he has no common sense. And he takes no responsibility for any of his, any of his actions. None. Now, he swears up and down that all his videos are in satire, okay? Satire? And oh, then, oh, yeah, it's all satire. All right? So, he's got a video, two videos, in fact, up where he's got, I guess it's a GoPro outside. I don't know how he got the setup. I mean, the setup's cool as hell. One of them, he's driving down the road, dancing in his seat. With his hands completely off the steering wheel. Off the steering wheel, yep. Com 
completely off the steering wheel. Another driver asked him about it, and he said, oh, it's a lane assist truck. A what? What? Yeah, my truck has got lane assist on it, so it's all right. Uh, no, dummy, that's just a warning for you. Right. It's not going to keep you in your lane. So I, I went back, and I, I think in one of his comments, somebody somebody said something about how long he was driving, and I believe he came back to say that he was only he he's he been only, driving for a year. He been driving for a year, and you yeah. figure at least a year, you will have some inkling of <laughs> of. Apparently, of, not this guy. <laughs> of experience, bro. At least an inkling. Like, what company you're driving for that actually, you know, that, well, I, I'm not sure. Because if you, I'm, and I'm just throwing it out there. If you was driving for Snyder and they saw that video, yeah, you, you would have been gone the next day, bro. Oh, if it any company would have seen it. He swears up and down he doesn't drive for a company that he owns his own truck. Uh, no, <laughs> no, that's yeah. Now that's the, hard. The, to way, the way this whole I, thing. I'm not saying that it's true, but I'm just saying it's hard to believe for me by by all of his actions that he's done on his TikTok so far. Yeah, one of my followers saw the video that I did on him, and I was trashing him about trashing another driver. Right, Swift. Yeah, he said, and I had a follower say, don't let this distract you from the fact that he molested a 14-year-old in 2019. Mm. I said, what? He said, look up up Little Lamar, October 22nd, 2019. (laughs) Well, everybody knows I... You know, you tell me to look something up. I'm going to look it up. So I Googled his name. And sure as crap, first thing that pops up was him getting famous by having sex with the chicken sandwich. Having sex with the chicken sandwich. And the second thing that came up was him and his buddy got busted behind a Walmart, South Carolina, molesting a 14-year-old little girl. Now, that's Now, now he's... I, he's I, I he t- swears up and down. The girl lied to him. Mm. See, I touched on that as well okay. in in the Breaking Truckers episode, and I I read the article. I went back and read a whole bunch of articles, and they, you know, all the articles, yeah. you know, all the articles fell in in line. So it wasn't like one article was lying and the other one was fictitious, exactly. and the other one, yeah. they all fell in line of what the situation that happened now a couple of tiktokers is over here you know over here saying about the age i believe in the article i believe the age was 11 not 14. it says he was a he he was charged for sexual assault of a minor between the ages of 11 to 14. okay okay and then okay. on the new okay. and then the news article i read it was 14. right so i got i jumped on that there's, there's, there's a lot of things truck drivers can forgive, okay? Mm-hmm. But I'm sorry. We don't need pedophiles driving trucks. Plain and simple. That's all there is to it. Exactly. I, 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 I am a God-fearing man, but there, no. I've got four daughters, mm. nine grandkids, mm. and son. You don't know. You don't need to be driving a truck if you're a pedophile. Now, see, now for here, what he oh. come up Hold, now, hold up before hold up before yeah. I say something because you know you you and a whole bunch of other truck drivers feel the same way about uh about yeah. child molesters child predators but also you know uh, in inside prisons and this is only what I heard you know this is only what I heard and you know no assumptions here but it's only what I heard from other people that they don't play about that either. No, they don't. You know. And the whole reason he got away with everything is he coughed to a lesser charge. Right. That's How? why he's not on a list or anything like that. How, though? First offense. 
Because I don't know if other. I did, you know, if, if how because I don't know what happened to his buddy. His buddy got the charge. His buddy was charged with another count of messing with a uh, underage female. It's another article with his buddy by himself. Uh, yeah, with a charge of, of messing with uh, messing with a female. So my thing is this: how, like, like I said, you know, like, like I said, allegedly. Let me go ahead and just throw that out there. Allegedly, because he was he was yeah. he he pled it to a lesser charge. I don't understand how you got lucky. You a technicality. That's that's all I can see, bro. Yeah. You you got lucky, and with that luck, you jumped in. You jumped in, decided to get your uh, CDL, and decided to come into well, the see, from what I read, He he had his CDL before he got before he got the charge. Mm, okay. So he had, he had the CDL before he got the charge. Got the charge, did his time, mm-hmm. and then uh, I, he's like I said, he says he's you know he doesn't work for a company. He drives on his own. I doubt that, but okay. And then yeah, then he blocked you know he blocked me, which I thought was funny, and also a pretty big mistake because if you block me and I'm already you know like I, like I said you know he was my favorite person. Yeah, so I'm going to trash the guy because I, <laughs> yeah. you know, we don't need him on the, we we don't need him on the app. We don't want him around the industry. It's, well, I've got more than one account, especially the app. Let let's let's tip <laughs> on the app for a little bit because you know you know how I feel about TikTok. I'm not I'm not a I'm not a big fan of TikTok, but I I am a fan of the people who I come who I come across and who I meet and everything, but. The only thing with TikTok is that it provides me with a whole hell of a lot of content. So thank you, TikTok, oh, yeah. for that. But as far as the app, though, you know, I notice uh, a lot of us, uh, a, a lot of us is getting, we getting shadow banned. We're getting community oh, yeah. guideline <laughs> for other, like, you know, for other, for, for stitches of other people's videos that's still up. By the way, I'm just saying, TikTok, still up, but yet you shut mine down, though. I, uh, you, you good, though. But here's this guy. I, I, here's this guy, an admitted pedophile on a kid's app, bro, and you still have yeah. an account. Or you're able to open up different accounts because I, to my understanding, the one that he had a check mark on was taken down. Yeah, when, when he was the it, when he was it, the it, rapper, it, 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 Little Mar. Yeah, Little Mar. Yeah, and it, it, it's funny how TikTok just took down one of my videos. When it was one of the videos that I had about him, when he was trashing on the Swift driver, had over fifteen thousand views on it. You know, that's not a whole lot in the TikTok world, but you know, it's a whole lot for me. Right. And I, I you know, so far every one of them except for a few of them about more have been uh have been taken down and i figure it's it's probably him or his followers mm-hmm. reporting me but i want to get that and, and i want to get to the video he made about me go ahead go okay. ahead we're, we're in it go ahead very first thing he needs to understand is that eight-year-old little girl he said i thanked yeah i did i thanked an eight-year-old little girl for liking one of my pictures who happened to be a student of my wife's <laughs> Go and yes, and and yes, he's absolutely correct. I have a thing for Asians, so much so, my wife is Asian. My wife was in the Philippines in 2012. She was a school teacher. Some of her students would talk to me for English. Mm. I had to create a whole new Instagram app just so I could pull that up and find out what it was to see if it was real or fake. And then I, then I, when I saw it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember her. That was one of my – in fact, my wife still talks to that girl. Mm. Mm. So, so, and, 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 so you said – so you said and, say he, what you know, huh? Yeah. And then he was sitting there saying, well, yeah, I had a kick, so what? Big deal. <laughs> it never did – you know, didn't do anything. 
what? nothing on it. What is, it saying, what is it, Kid? Uh, what, what, what is that like the video something? It, yeah, it was like it was like a phone video app where people would call you and talk to you and, and crap like that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Another yeah, social, it, another it, social it, media outlet yeah, that just didn't make it. Pretty much. Yeah, it didn't really make it. And, and the funny part about it is, okay, this guy's this guy's uh, his observation skills are gone right now. Today, I am 56 years old, okay? <laughs> now, he seems to think in 2012 I was in my 60s. <laughs> if I can figure math out right, because this is being 2022, 2012 was 10 years ago, would have made me 46 years old. You say the math ain't math, and huh? I, 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 I guess he doesn't know how to drive a truck and doesn't know how to do math either. And it's funny when he made that video, I don't think he got the response that he expected to get. No, he because... didn't because the, his, his comment session, is, <laughs> his comment session is, is, is in the totally opposite direction. Like this one right here, yeah, it... this one right here says you should lose your CDL for dancing around in your seat while driving down the road. Yep. You are a safety risk to the motoring public. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> and, 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 you know, a lot of my, the guy's nothing but a clout chaser. That's all he is. And the reason I say that is, like I said, I've got more than one account. I've got Slow Walker 2 and Slow Walker 2.2. Now, I made a reply stitch to the video that he made. And I put it on Slow Walker 2.2. I made another one to Slow Walker 2 and put that one up there. The one on Slow Walker 2, the account that has over 15,000 followers, was taken down. Slow Walker 2.2, the small account that has like 2,000 followers, is still up. That's still up there. Wow. I stitched the 2.2 video onto the Slow Walker 2 video. Mm -hmm. The Slow Walker 2 page. Mm -hmm. That stitch got taken down. Wow. But it's still up on your 2.2 2. 2. 2 page. Yeah, it's still, it's, it's still up on 2.2. So this guy... And, 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 this now, guy and now the guy is trying to say that it's the girl's fault. It was the 14-year-old girl's fault because she lied about her age on an adult app. I have raised four teenage daughters. I don't care what they look like. When they open their mouth, the woman, the girl can look like she's 20 years old dressed mm -hmm. up. But the minute she opens up her mouth, you're going to you be can, able to tell. You, can, you can tell. You you can tell the age right then and there. Yeah. You can tell. But, you know, Slow Walk, you know, he has a YouTube page. And... I went, yeah, to, I, I, I went to his YouTube and Instagram. I went to his YouTube page and dude is uh, I'm 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 shocked at some of the some of the content that he has on that page, man. Over here talking about he got catfished by a man, he 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 got he he said the same thing on his YouTube page like he, he he got uh he got catfished by uh by four uh by a fifteen year old that told him that he was uh that she was nineteen or or eighteen and yeah, uh, bro all all I need to say all all I need to say is is that for everybody you know another thing that's 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 shocking me too for everybody that's that's uh dragging this kid on uh on TikTok. He zeroed in on you. I mean, people on TikTok made a whole hell of a lot worse videos, and he haven't, he haven't, he haven't, you know, made a reply back to them or said anything about them. But he zeroed in on you. Why? Why do you think he's 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 zeroing in on you and not everybody else that's that's really dragging him? I kept making videos. I told you, this guy's my favorite person. As far as I'm concerned, he does not need to be in the industry, and he does not need to be on the app. So I'm going to trash him every chance I get. Whether it's a comment, whether it's a video, 
whether I see somebody else's video. I don't care that he's a new truck driver, okay? What bothers me is, one, he doesn't take responsibility for his actions. Right. That's number Facts. two. Facts. He's a dangerous driver. That's number three. Facts. And the he, biggest proves, thing, he proves that he's, throughout his, he's a pedo- his TikTok. He's, he's a pedophile. Facts. Uh-uh. I have, I hold truck drivers to a very high standard. And I'm sorry, there are certain people that don't need to be driving a truck. And if you're a pedophile, you don't need to be driving a damn truck. Mm. Plain and simple, period, end of discussion. You know, you, you, you like you, little kids? Uh-uh. Mm. You, you know, uh, Slow Walker, he, it, this other comment says, wow, all this BS because you were throwing shade on another driver when yourself... <laughs> had made several fuck ups and yeah, that's on, top, Jack. on top of that yeah. slow walk didn't i mean slow walker didn't touch anyone exactly that's what i said yeah that was i said the same thing yeah I that said, was jack that was jack's defended me yeah i i said the same thing going to on the episode i was like bro you know, Slow Walker is a truck driver a true truck driver and i i never i never seen him say or do or do anything you know that will put him in jeopardy as far as you know messing with little kids you on the other hand is actually putting it out there do you think slow walker let me ask you this do you think because i said it i i I said it in the episode but do you think if he hadn't if he hadn't ragged on uh if he hadn't ragged on that swift driver a couple of times by the way, do you think he will be getting the backlash that he will be getting right now if he hadn't, if he hadn't arrived on the no, uh, he, driver? He, he still would have got it because he drove into a ditch and then blamed somebody else for it. If you go watch, okay, he made like three videos of the ditch incident. Oh, he made a whole lot of videos he, of the ditch incident. Yeah. 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 He trying to make he, he, he trying to he, he trying to va- he trying to validate he trying to validate himself and trying to make it like exactly it's the, it's it's the construction workers' fault for not having no barrels there. So yeah, yeah, but you, yeah, you, he, yeah, he you, did not he mm-mm. he didn't pay attention to he wasn't doing his job. Every single one of us, we're all taught the exact same thing. I don't care if you're taught it in a school, taught it from your dad, your grandpa from your trainer, whatever. We're all taught the same thing. You look down the road. You don't look down at the road. And that's all he did. He was looking down at the road and never saw what he was doing. He was looking four foot in front of his hood and that was it. Instead of looking a quarter mile down the road, he didn't slow down and he wasn't paying attention. So yeah, he'd be getting he'd be getting all types of shit just, just because of the damn uh, the ditch video. Mm. Because he's not paying attention. And then the dancing around in the damn seat video. I can understand wanting to dance around in your seat, listen to loud music, no big deal. Right. Hell, right. we all but, do it. But recording it and putting it but out I, there for I, the I, internet I, to see? Yeah. I sure as hell don't take my hands look. off the steering wheel. Yeah, not 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 a good look. Not not a good look at all. And then he's got that he's got that video where he's talking about it. Oh I, I must have been driving on that tire for three or four hours. I didn't know it was, you know, um, uh, it was flat, flat. It bleeded. The only thing that was left of that tire was the side rail, and it was a drive tire. Okay, mm. so if a cap comes off a trailer, mm-hmm. yeah, sometimes you're probably not going to hear it. Unless that, unless it blows, you're not going to hear the cap come off. Right. But on a drive, it felt kind of funny. I thought it was kind of bumpy there for a minute. I drove on that for about yeah, three you could hours. Feel, you, you really? Can feel, you could feel the difference in the drive when any of your drive tires uh, catch a flat or catch a blowout or anything. You may not feel that. It's you, like you, a, you, you may not feel that with the inside tires on the, on, the, uh, on the trailer. You know, you may feel it on the outside, or at least you should see on the outside because you should be – you know, focusing in on your mirrors every five seconds, but but well, that's on the other on the, thing. On, the mean, on the, on the, on the drives, you know, on the drives, you should automatically feel 
something is the matter with you know if you call it. I mean, it's that kid. <laughs> That that cap comes off. You know, you're going to run over with the trailer, so you're going to feel it no matter what. The guy's dangerous. He doesn't need to have his license. And whatever company he works for, I know if it's what I heard, you know, it was Super Eagle. If he's driving for them, he needs to be gone. If he's driving for somebody else, he needs to be gone. Mm. And he swears up and down, oh, it's all satire. No, I'm sorry. Some of that stuff that he puts up there, you can tell it's not satire. It's not satire, bro. And what you need to do, or what you need, what you what you need to do, my guy, you need to take him down because it's it's making you look so so bad right now, bro. You you don't need to have that. And you you don't need to have that up, man. Oh, walk man thank you I, I i do appreciate you coming up in on the lockout man podcast and chopping it up with me man hey, and uh telling me your you know problem. your side and the and and the story and everything uh as a you know as a uh old school veteran driver that been in the game for all these years uh of course we're not listen we're not here to rag on the young man we just we here to try to throw some positive vibes so he can change his 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 driving habits what type of what 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 type of of advice would you give that young man or a young man in his position that's trying to make his way into the trucking industry Drive every day like you're driving next to your family. One stupid mistake is going to kill somebody. Plain and simple. Listen to the old guys. Get your eyes up on the road. I mean, yeah, what we do is a lifestyle. What we do is our job. What we do is we make money. You know, everybody's, it's plain and simple. One mess up, a half second screw up on our part can kill somebody yep and you can lose your license it takes less like it, it, it takes less than a six inch rise in the road on road construction it takes less than six inches to flip a truck if you hit that if you hit the road at the wrong time wrong way the wrong angle at the wrong speed you'll turn a truck over you take a turn too fast you're going to turn a truck over mm. that kid mar He's going to end up killing somebody. And the bad part about it is, is he's not going to listen to anybody. He's not going to take anybody's advice because he thinks he knows what he's doing. He thinks he knows it all. And he's not. And he's going to keep one in his mouth. And what he doesn't understand is, yeah, it's a big country. And, yeah, there are a lot of truck drivers. There aren't that many truck drivers. And the country's not that big. Somebody's going to run into him. Yeah, and, he's he's going to, and they're going to recognize him. And he's going to run world. in his mouth. And I don't, and all of a sudden he's going to realize his mouth has done overloaded his ass. Mm. Well, again, slow Walker, man, thank you very much. Look, my advice to the young man is, is to stay more focused, bro. Uh, You know, is, is consequent. There's consequences to every action. My guy, Uh, you, you was doing that little TikTok dance in the truck and everything, your hands wasn't on the wheel, that steer tire blow out could have sent you right over that bridge, right over there on 40, you know, going into Tennessee and the Arkansas. Best. You could have, could have sent you right into that river, bro. You know, so I want you to, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna listen to anything, listen to this, man. Just, uh, just be a little bit more focused. And again, I, I implore you to, to at least uh take your TikTok down because you know this this is trucking this is a small world i i'm concerned about your safety because you know there's a lot of drivers out there that that feel some kind of way about you know about child predator and and child molesters even if you even if you claim that you didn't do it you know, once once it's out there, it's out there, my she guy. Was, she, so I, I I'm she just was concerned. Still 14. Yeah, I'm I'm just concerned about your safety, man. And you know, you might want to just you know take that down and 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 be low key, my guy. 
best thing he can do is give up a CDL and go back to Domino's driving his wrap convertible as a delivery driver. Oh my that's god! That's the best thing he can do. Oh my god! We, <laughs> okay, well that that's that's a topic for another conversation. All right, we go, man. Hey, I appreciate you. You stay safe, uh, slow walk. All right, later, brother. All right. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. What you want, y'all?